Hey guys, it's Amber. Today we're doing a Disney scrapbook challenge. On the left is our inspiration, on the right is my interpretation, and in part two next week you can see Lonnie's interpretation. So I started out with some scraps of Mickey paper and I got this in the mail when I got my pass and thought that would look great on the page so I just cut that out and inside there's some ears that I thought were really cute for an embellishment as well. The photo is of me and my sister the day that we got our passes and I took an Instax mini with it so I thought that would be cute for the little wood piece with the camera and some hearts and a star to kind of tie all together and I used glue and Mod Podge to get all the gold glitter to stick. So the yellow paper, I cut a three inch strip and the Mickey paper, I cut a two inch strip and kind of off centered those to the left a little bit and try and arrange my photos and the embellishments I have so far. It looks really plain on the left side. So I decided to get some washi tape and I stuck it to the paper and cut them out and made little flags to stick out from behind my, my photo. Still looks kind of boring on the left side, so I got a few more embellishments and glittered them up. And down here, I'm going to have the kind of title of the page say, Best Day Ever. So I hand lettered that, and I'm using a Versamark marker that was dying, so I was dipping it in some Tim Holtz embossing uh, ink pad to try and liven it up a bit, and then just using regular gold embossing powder to um, finish that finish that up. Finish that up there. I love watching the heat change it. Be all smooth and shiny. That there. Just getting all my embellishments, I believe. Making sure I get everything glued in place. remembering where I had it, where I wanted it. I love taking pictures with my Instax, but I always want to make sure that they count so that I don't waste any film and come spoiled with digital cameras and digital pictures. But it's always fun, I think, to take pictures with real fil film.
And that piece, those circles with the stars inside are made of foam and they did not want to hold the glitter. So I had to touch those up a bunch of times. The wood, the cut wood held the glue and Mod Podge the best and the glitter stuck really well. And then that chipboard star, I had to touch up a bit to, it didn't want to hold it because it was, it had already been painted. So I was putting the Mod Podge on top of the painted chipboard and it just took a little extra. So in case you want to try putting glitter on those things, the wood was the best. Extra glitter. Make sure everything's stuck down really well. <laughs> Pull off the extra glitter. And that's it. That was my finished page. Oh, I forgot. I added a stamp to the bottom that had the date. So that's my finished page. If you like this kind of video, give us a thumbs up and stay tuned next week for part two. And you can see Lonnie's version of our inspiration page and I'll put a link down low to where we found the inspiration. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Bye.